Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. And let's give this a shot. Now, immediately, since I normally start by scanning the rows, well, those two eights immediately place an eight here. And that's all I get for the top rows. In the bottom, in the middle rows, they give me all three twos, which is my usual sign that this is a hard puzzle. But I notice there's an awful lot of digits on the left side of the grid here. The leftmost three columns, and especially in region seven, which they give me five of them. Now, interestingly enough, I only get a seven as a repeat for my row scanning. But this should help immensely when it comes to columns. Here's some eights, which put an eight there. Actually in two spots, not three. Let's see, there are one, two, fives, and this five rules that sell out. There are three fives pointing into region four. They give me a digit. Immediately. Now, let's see what I can follow up on. If I've learned anything, uh, four can't go in those two because of the four in the region. And, and so it could go here, it could go here. So I end up with four in one of two spots in the column. That puts four in one of these two, but this is ruled out, so that's a four. And for one of those is a four. Okay, what did I say? That can't be four. So this is now a four, and that's four, and so one of these is a four. That gives me an X-wing on fours on row six and eight, columns eight and nine. Let's see, and I still haven't even, have I done all that? I have not, but one, two, three sevens point into region one so I can place a digit. And then follow up on it in one of two places. I think I might be done with the left columns, but one, two, three given fours tells me that one is. And therefore, one of these must be, and it's three spots, not two, which is interesting. Now, actually, I know there's an X-wing on fours here and here. So what that means is it has to be on either diagonal. So it's in these two spots or these two spots. Now, either way, neither of these can be a four. So I know immediately that has to be one. And if I hadn't deduced that these were an X-Wing, I would not have come up with that. Now, how many fours does that give me? That gives me seven fours. Whoops. I was in the wrong mode there. Let's see. So what that also means is now that these are filled, all three of these, I know these can't be six. And since these are filled, so one of those must be a six. Therefore, one of these is six. And now one of these can't be five, so one of those must be. And this five and that virtual five tells me one of those is a five, but this isn't because of the five in column nine that looks up. So that places that five, which then puts a five down here, but it can't go there. And now that puts a five in one of these positions, which I think is all I can do now. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. I need one, two, and six, right? Well, it, so there is a triple. And you'll notice I haven't even started scanning. Well, actually, those two threes immediately give me that three. Column seven, which places a seven in the region. And that, well, that's seven. Okay, that's only six of them. How many sevens am I missing? Let's see. Unfortunately, I don't, well, actually, these are sevens here, but that's, I think, as far as I'm going to go on sevens. Now, where were we? Okay, this is a triple that's left. It can't be two, three, four, five, eight, nine. This is one, six, seven. With that not being seven, but that's as far as I can go there. Uh, if 
five, three. Well, these are filled. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I need one, two, eight, nine for the rest of row seven. And this sees one, two, eight, so it must be nine. What's a nine in one of those two? Which is as far as I can do there. Uh, these two are two and three, which is an offset pair that I can't disambiguate. One, two, five, seven, eight. I need three, four, six, and nine for row six. That's not four. This can't be four either. And these can't be three, so those are four, six, and nine, with this seeing a nine. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So those are one, two, eight here, which form a triple in the rest of row seven that I can't disambiguate. Uh, I didn't even need to mark it. This is one and eight, therefore must be two. This this is one eight, and that was silly of me to mark it anyway. But be that as it may, these twos force a two in one of those. Let's see. Uh, what's left in column one is a triple. I need what looks like one, three, and six, right? That can be any of them. That's not six. This one, I think, can be any of the digits. Four, five, six, seven, eight in row two. I need one, two, three, and nine. This one can be any of them. This can't be two. This ends up as one or two only. And this is one, two, six to fill out the triple in region three. Okay. And next, let's look at column six. I have one, two, four, seven, eight. I need three, five, six, and nine. This one sees three, five, six. It can only be nine. So I have two nines by green, by dark green digits that are key to the rest of the puzzle. Now, one, three, we'll place this nine. It's the only space for it in row two. Therefore, that's a two. This can't be. That leaves one, six here. So I've got... One, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So this is two or seven. This cell sees a two. That places the digits. Uh, this is one, three, five. In some fashion. Fill out the region. Okay, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So this is from 1, 2, 3, and 6. Clean that up. Okay, what's left in column 6 is a triple. What well, looks like 3, 5, and 6. That's any of them, unfortunately. So I end up in that configuration. Uh, those of you who type faster and or fill digits in can probably finish fa this faster than I can. This is, okay, one, two, three is left for column three. This is two and three. It must be one. Therefore, that can't be. Let's see, that's not one either. Four, six, eight. So I'm left with nothing but odd digits for the rest of column four. Let's see, this C seven and nine, so it's three five. This C five and seven ends up being three nine. C seven here, we knew that. Okay, column nine, two, three, five, seven, nine, I need one, four, six, and eight. This sees one and four. This sees eight. This sees one and four, so that's six or eight. This six, eight tells me 
That can't be 6, it must be 4. That places the 1, which will place a lot of 1 8s and actually do quite a few other digits. Let's see, this can't be 4 anymore. The 8 in the region sorts out 6, 8 in the column. That's not 3 anymore. The 8th place in region 4. Let's see, this is from 1, 6. Well, this is 1 or 6 only. It can't be 7. Well, it could be 9, though, but 1, 6, 9, along with 3, 5, 7, tells me this is a 2, 4 pair in column 8. That's at this cell at the bottom. Row 9, column 8 has a 4 looking at it which can place the digits and the two in row nine helps me immensely because I can fill out quite a few more things with it. Uh, this is from three, five, six to fill out row eight, but it sees three, five, therefore must be six. At one, do the six, nine in row six, which will fill out region six, which in turns out fill, fills out region three. That should complete Region 5, it does, and I believe I have enough to fill out the rest of the puzzle. This has to be an 8. This has to be a 3. That's 6, 3, 6, and the only thing I'm missing is a 9. And 11 and a half minutes where I didn't really pause. So, not too shabby. Let me know how you did in the comments. And did anybody beat 10 minutes?